Welcome to Tokyo Saurus. So what's up in Japan? So obviously, Gundam is pretty big in Japan, and if you're still wondering just how big, NHK just held almost a two-month-long Ultimate Gundam poll that anyone could vote in to determine the best of everything you can think of related to Gundam. In total, there were about 1.7 million people who participated in this poll, with 22% being women and 78% being men. A third of these voters were between 20 to 29, and about a quarter of them are 30 to 39, and another quarter being 40 to 49. Only 12% were 19 or younger, so pretty evenly spread out in general, but with way less kids than I expected for a Gundam poll. They even told you the demographics for the people who voted for each Gundam series. For example, for Gundam Seed, there were a lot more female fans as 44% of the voters were women and 56% were men, so pretty much even. But we're not going to get too much into that if you want to check out the poll in detail. I have it linked in the description below. There's a ton of categories, but we're just going to look at the most interesting and important ones. Best Gundam Anime, Best Gundam Mobile Suit Mechs, and of course, most importantly, Best Gundam Characters, or in other words, our best boys and our best girls. So, starting with the top 5 best ranked mobile suits, we got at number 5, Freedom Gundam from Gundam Seed. One of Kira Yamato's Gundams, Freedom is probably one of the most iconic and popular Gundams from Gundam Seed or Destiny, aside from one other one that beats it, that is also on this list. At number 4, we have Wing Gundam Zero, the Endless Waltz version, which is definitely one of the most popular and iconic Gundams in the West. With its angel wing design, along with its twin buster rifle, Wing Gundam was probably the reason many of us fell in love with Gundam in the first place. At number 3, we have Strike Freedom from Seed Destiny, definitely the most popular mobile suit from Gundam Seed or Seed Destiny. It's a no-brainer that it's on this list, even though a lot of people hated how it was used in the anime. Number 2, we have Zeta Gundam. Zeta Gundam was actually really revolutionary for its time in its design, and accompanied by one of the darkest and probably most realistic Gundam stories in the franchise, makes Zeta Gundam definitely one of the most unforgettable Gundams in the Gundam fandom. In our first place, we don't have Double O Riser or Barbatos. Instead, we have New Gundam from Shars Counterattack, piloted by Amuro Rei. In fact, there are no Double O Gundams even in the top 10 list for best mobile suits, surprisingly. Japan loves its UC mobile suits more than anything else, aside from the two Freedom Gundams and Wing Zero. But that doesn't mean Japan doesn't like the newer Gundam series. In fact, you'll see later on that Double O or IBO is quite popular in the other rankings. So on to the next ranking, Best Gundam Anime Series. Starting at the bottom, we have Stardust Memory. At number 9, we have Gundam Wing. At number 8, we have G Gundam. At number 7, we have Unicorn. At number 6, we have Iron Blooded Orphans. Number 5, we have Char's Counterattack. Number 4, we have Double O. And number 3, we have Seed. Number 2, we have Zeta. And finally, at number 1, the Undisputed King, we have the original Mobasu Gundam. So it's quite obvious that Amuro and his story is still the most popular so far, winning in both Best Mobile Suit and the Best Gundam Anime Series. Zeta Gundam is also right up there, so if there's a UC series you should definitely check out, it's probably one of these two. I'm kind of surprised that Seed is more popular than Double O, but I'm pretty sure they were pretty close as they were just right next to each other in the rankings. IBO at number 6 is also pretty impressive, seeing how they deviated from the usual Gundam formula, beating out Unicorn and Gundam Wing. If this poll was held in the West, I'm pretty sure Gundam Wing would be way higher in its ranking, definitely in the top 3 spots along with Double O. And now, on to our best boys and best girls of Gundam. So this poll was so important that it was divided into two categories. The first category is best character in combined works, which means it rates that character based on all the series that character was in. So this usually happens in the UC timeline where we see characters carry over to the next series. So someone like Shar Aznabel would be rated according to every single series he was in with one entry. The second category is best character in one series. So someone like Shar Aznabel would be rated based on that one series instead of all of them. So technically, Shar Aznabel would have multiple entries in this ranking, like Shar Aznabel in the original Mobile Suit Gundam, and then Shar Aznabel again in Shar's Counterattack, etc. So in the combined works rankings, at number 10, we have Asuran from Seed. At number 9, we have Haman Karn from Zeta. At number 8, we have Anavel Gato from Stardust Memory. At number 7, we have Camille from Zeta. At number 6, we have Setsuna F. Seye from Double O. At number 4, we have Graham Aker from Double O again. At number 4, we have Kira Yamato from Seed. At number 3, we have Orga from IBO. At number 2, we have Amaro. And at number 1, we have Shar Aznabel. So obviously, Shar takes the cake here, as he's probably the most reoccurring character we have in Gundam. Even in a Gundam series that doesn't have a Shar Aznabel in its universe, we'll always see someone with a mask that takes his place in the story. So Shar definitely deserves best boy. But I'm pretty happy to see Graham Aker somehow break it into the fifth spot, even beating out the main character of Double O. I guess they made the right choice to bring back Graham Aker or Mr. Bushido back for the Double O sequel. 
But when it comes down to the rankings of characters in a single series, which is the second category, judged by what they did in that series alone, the ranking changes quite a bit. At number 10, we have Ramba Rao from Mobile Suit Gundam. Number 9, we have Setsuna FC from 00. Number 8, we have Shar Aznable from Shar's Counter-Attack. Number 7, we have Kira from Seed. Number 6, we have Quattro Bajina from Zeta. Number 5, Amaro Ray. Number 4, Camille from Zeta. Number 3, Amaro Ray again from Shar's Counter-Attack. And number 2, we have Shar Aznable again. And finally, at the number 1 spot, we have... Orga Itsuka dethroning the King of Gundam for the True Best Boy Award for 2018. Sure, Amaro Ray and Shar took up most of the list, but Orga is officially the most well-liked character in the Gundam franchise for 2018. It's been just a year since IBO ended, and I think Orga has finally cemented his place as one of the most iconic characters in the Gundam franchise. And with the recent announcements of Gundam NT and a Gundam 00 sequel, along with rumblings about a Gundam Moon series, Gundam has been pumping out some serious hype into the franchise. But anyways, do you like our new best boy in town? And do you agree with the results that was gathered from over 1.7 million people in Japan? As usual, I left a poll up there and also let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget to thumbs up before you leave, subscribe and hit that bell for notifications if you want to be updated with the latest that's going on in Japan. And I'll see you guys in the next one.